Are you losing your mind? You've just been chasing me around while I manage a cabaret club for like... Honestly, this entire week, let's be honest. She's just been following me around the streets, being like, Hey, Kiri, when are you gonna- when are you gonna call that number we found in that alley or whatever was going on? It was like right around here by the karaoke club, remember? Kiryu? Ikimasha? What- who should we call? Kana is next. Do they have enough songs for all of them though? Cause that one- the last one was Shine. I already know that- that song was in the list already. <clears throat> <laughs> I'll sing my heart out. I love this song. Please put that one in. No! I quit. You don't get a song, Kana. Thanks for everything. We'll, we're just going to pretend we had a good night. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Aika? Do they pick a random song, or does each one have a pre-existing song? But maybe they're repeating, because they don't have enough for all of them? That's disappointing. Alright, let's make this a night to remember. I, I love this song, put it in the queue. Yeah! Yeah! That one's not the same song repeating. You get a song, and you get a song. No, I was just like silently choking a laugh the entire time. I wasn't ready for that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Best girl Aika has best song. And I was not prepared for Kiryu to give his the performance of a lifetime. <laughs> Although, not only was he just so enthusiastically supportive of the song, and the cutscene was so hilariously dramatic, but he say, but you get some of that amazing like Japanese voice actor, like working on English words, just like fly like a beautiful butterfly, and I'm like, yes, this is incredible. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Kiryu. Uh, that was rad, Kiryu-san. You're a beast. She's she's not wrong. That was alright, but I- Seriously, Kiryu, come on. <laughs> oh, so you're taking the mic next, right? Nope. I quit. Because I we have a lot of more lists to get through, and I think I'm just gonna do them now and see, see which ones are left. Hmm, that felt great. Oh my god, the Fly Like a Butterfly song. That was not what I thought it was going to be either, because in my head I'm like, ay ay ay, you little butterfly, green, black, and blue like the colors of the sky. But no, it's a very different song. And it was better. Who?
You sure you want to sing with me? <laughs> I can't wait. It depends on whether or not you have a different taste in music than everybody else. I guess I'll go first. I like that song, please. Two options. But I... Oh, it's the Euro version of Shine. A lot of these people like Ring. Why do you have two options, though? Why are you the only one that has two options? How does this work? Alright, we'll do Euro Shine, I guess. Yeah, it reminds me, reminds me of playing DDR and stuff like that and how sometimes you'd have four different versions of the same song in the same game because they kept remixing it. Or they'd have, or you'd get different DDR games and the same song would keep showing up as different versions in each game. <laughs> Dynamite Rave. Thanks for setting the tone there, Curious san That was alright, but I can do better. <laughs> Stop saying that. Stop. Let yourself be success. Let yourself succeed at things, Kiryu. <laughs> or Kiryu. Looks like I've still got it. It's really weird how she changes costume. It trips me out. I don't think... Have I customized her? I don't remember if I customized her or not. Or if she, that was her... No, I think that was her... That wasn't a customization. That was her hostess getup that she has in the fever cutscene. In the fever picture, too. In my thumbnail I've been using. So she showed up in that costume. Then did the karaoke in the other costume. Then went back to her street costume. I have questions. That was Yuki, so Koyoki's last one. Is it? That's fine if she has, has her own song. Let's sing a tongue. Uh, let's sing a ton, Kiryu-san. I almost said tongue. I'm like, ah. I mean, technically, but no. <laughs> I'm so glad you brought me Kiryu-san. Why do you guys dress differently a second later? Mind if I sing first? Damn it. No. Oh, two of them were duds and didn't have new songs. Still. I mean, no, uh, I think none of them had new songs. I think those were all songs I could have done anyway. With any female character or something, maybe? I don't know. Either way, cool little uh, you, uh, karaoke side quest. <gasps> Complete. Oh, he, oh he's dead. He's, his head went right through that. Oh, God. Moment of truth. It's time to crush the competition. Please tell me there's no absences. Please. Let me use the all-star crew, because it's like thematically relevant and stuff like that. Please. No absences! Yay! Oh my god, are you listening? It says that my top person is the headmistress. Ha! <laughs> click, 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 click. Alright. Diamond. We're gonna bring all the platinum girls in. That was the same one. Whoops. Ah. Trying to put them in order, and they're messing it up. Boom! Someone slightly displeased, but that's too bad, because we're gonna have to- we gotta bring the all-star crew. Which involves these two also. Etsuko, and... I guess it's Etsuko? 
Whenever I pronounce a su that's in the middle of a word, it's always like, no, you're not supposed to do that. And the headmistress, which are like my top earners. Total sales, 5 million, 8 million, 11 million, 11 million, 8 million, 7 million, 10 million, 12 million. <laughs> yep. They're very good at this, and they have completely different stats. All right, so the entire Platinum and Diamond crew is here, and the two older women, and let's destroy. Let's destroy them. League champ. The Grand Prix champion. It excels in all areas and none compare. Total fans? Ooh, I caught up with them over while I was grinding out the, the side quests and everything. We both have 20,000 20, fans. All right, Kurara, are you ready for the headmistress? I don't think you are. I have no idea how hard this one is. Ladies and gentlemen, my deepest apologies for the wait. It's time for the Cabaret Club Grand Prix Finals. I'm your host, Goro Majima. He's really owning this, isn't he? Yeah, he doesn't take half measures. In this corner, the Cabaret Grand Prix Grand Champion, the Sotenbori Sunshine. Featuring the legendary hostess, Kirara, the club's... This club's a world-famous establishment with some real clout. In the other corner, the challengers, Sotenbori's Foreshine. Today, they aim to take down a legend, but do they, uh, do they got the skills to pay those bills? Kirara-chan. Yuki-san, it's taken a long time, but I'm glad we're finally doing this. To truly become a legend, I need to beat you. The hostess world can only speak one, uh, speak of one legend, and it's going to be me. It's never been about the status for me, but I can't lose all the same. The path I've walked, the girls I've worked alongside, the customers who loved us, I'll prove them right. This is where it ends, Kanzaki. Hmm. You're just a motley collection of drifters. With or without the inside sources, we're stronger. Now, we'll show you. Let's get this cabaret club started, I see said that. So yeah, I've, I've realized that way back when I read the description of the game, way, way back, where the tutorial, one of the traits is that people will sometimes already have a, I think it's the escort trait or something like that. Some of them will already have somebody at opening, so that's how the opponents kept uh, having money instantly. Yeah, now, I, whenever I open, I have like four people that have that trait, so four guests are already seated when the level starts. Which means that by the time the first person sits down, I've already made like half a million. It's, it's completely absurd. So now, yeah, 10 seconds in, five out of six seats are open. Damn. And we're losing. No, we're not, we're winning. They're just, they're just beating me on fever. Huh. Smiley face. Oh, there she goes. And she deleted two of my guests just like that. Yeah, it's just a dirty trick that people have. That's menu. Haha. It's a good thing things are so full up or I'd be in way worse shape. Fever. Alright, the first fever is here early. That's Lady's Glass. Oh my god, I just thought of the worst iteration of that previous joke I had. 
because I had the previous joke about like, what what if one of the people was like, can I get that guy when Kiryu came in? Because he's fucking Kiryu. And the joke, oh no, the pun, oh no. The, the customer would be like, I'm not gay, I'm just by Kiryu's. Because <laughs> his fucking name is Kiryu. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Wow. Oh. I feel so ashamed and so proud of myself, which is how the best puns feel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> By Curious. Oh no. Alright. Wow, these people are not gonna leave. We're gonna keep these, them around forever. Alright. Oh no, I did expensive gift on accident. Uh I'm used to clicking on that to get my fans up, but that's not really the goal right now. Although I am winning, so... Since I'm, since I'm winning now, I probably win, period, because... Normally I'm trying to play catch-up. I've never lost the lead. Once I get my first fever, the music basically just permanently sounds like this for the rest of the night. Is she going to use her fever again to make me re-lose my fans? There's the crossfade. Or whatever it's called. It's a sound you get- to, it's, a, it's an effect you got to use a lot in, a DJ Hero, one of the best rhythm games ever made. That, that franchise died hard. I guess they didn't do well. But D DJ Hero was genuinely neat. It was such a sort of innovative change from the guys that were making... Like, Activision was putting on Guitar Hero, so it was such a... Their their creativity with with music games was such a bummer. Because they were always just following... Uh, let's give the girl a reward. Or praise the girl. I want the girls to recover. So that they can... Be most capable to keep going. Yeah, the Guitar Hero series was so disappointing and un- and uninnovative once Harmonix left and they were just following the tracks of the ex of what the other one was already doing. Because Harmonix left and made a rock band and then Guitar Hero was taken over by another company that just started copying anything- any changes that Harmonix made to their game. It was really disappointing. So DJ Hero was like such a surprise. It's like, oh look at this! Must constantly praise girls in order to make their meters not, not empty. I think giving them a reward, I think that has a bigger effect, but it costs you money, which affects your outcome. Wow, we uh, lost half the board all at once. Damn. We're winning by a lot, though. They don't really stand a chance, do they? Wow, there's another one. One of the downsides, that is one downside, is if everyone has the escort trait, uh, all of their sessions end at the same time. Because you'll have four people that all start at the same time, and then you, you'll extend all of their s sessions at the same time, and then they'll also end at the same time. That said, that escort trait that brings them at the beginning, that can single-handedly make that one guest last like the entire session, practically. Like, I think that, yeah, the fact that it's showing their cutscenes means I'm deploying them for the first time. That means that they were it, with their first person they started out with this entire time. And that we're already two-thirds of the way through the night. So, like, that's huge. It's probably the best trait in the game. Fever's back. We, we kind of lost our momentum when everybody left. Ladies, glass. Look at that manager swagger. <laughs> I've spelled an unhealthy am amount of this night trying to spell in my head by by curious, like trying to figure out what that spelling would look like while multitasking with the game. <laughs> I have not let that pun go. Wow, her meter is very full, but is she ever actually going to use it? Oh, 
There's so many voices going on at once. Oh, here comes Fever. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Well, I want. I've, I, I'm leading by two million, and that's a good thing because for the last 15 seconds, I just haven't. <laughs> I have an empty store. Her level three fever just kills everybody. <laughs> that's really alarming. I just don't have empl customers. She pressed her. Uh, <laughs> she banished them to the shadow realm. What the hell? <laughs> I don't have that power, do I? I'm pretty sure mine doesn't do that at all. Jeez. I think they all work that way, don't they? Oh shit. Uh, I'm getting worse at these because they're tiring. There we go. That hurts my hands. <laughs> Wow. 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 Huh. Interesting that I won. Looking at those numbers, I'm like, you had 25 guests when I had 17? Ha ha you had eight more guests than me. And your staff's apparently twice as expensive as mine, because they they had spent six hundred thousand on theirs while I spent three fifty on mine. So their 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 staff is twice as expensive. Then they got fifty percent more guests than I did. And I still won by three million. How'd they do such a bad job? I know why I did a bad job, is they they keep they they banish my my customers to the Shadow Realm. because uh, my high score in the in the uh, millionaire league is uh is 13 million so this was low score for me lately but that's because they kept deleting my guests from existence uh but yeah big lead it's just those food sales i beat them by yeah more than i beat them by more than two million on food sales then of course the the oil baron just kind of makes the lead bigger at the end so i guess all the fevering and the l levels of my characters just led to victory zero fans gained a little weird that there's no fans gained from the big league. I, uh, it's because it's because they have to be in a league, huh? Wow, Yuki's the only one that can get experience because everybody else is maxed. Because she's the newest arrival. And the winner is. Sotenbori for shine. Yeah! Oh, hell yeah. Ha! We really did it. Yay! We did it, Yuki-san! Yeah, we did. It's all thanks to you guys, too. And you too, Kiryu-san. You did great, Yuki-san. A new grand champion is born today. A job well done for, Shine. <laughs> huh. I lost, Yuki-san. Kirara-chan. Yuki-san. You deserve to be the legend that you are. Looking at you tonight, I saw the same dream I used to chase. I think the title and the status may have gone to my head. I still have so much left to learn. Not at all. You were amazing out there, Kirara-chan. It's only because of you that we had to push ourselves so hard. Thank you for a great match. Yuki-san, likewise. Those hands did not, did not fit together. <laughs> A handshake shared between two legends of the biz. Emotions are running raw tonight, folks. Impossible. I practically sold my soul to the devil to come this far. And now I've lost. 
Kanzaki-kun? It's time to come clean. Why did you push us out of sunshine? Why did you take it over like that? I remember a time when you were an earnest worker. A little serious sometimes, but you always put the com consumer first. Sometimes the darkest path is the most convenient, I guess. What do you mean? In my time at Sunshine, I made a foolish mistake and co-signed a loan for a friend. It saddled me with massive debt. A financial advisor I went to suggested that buying out cabaret clubs would be an easy way to recoup. I see. All I had to do was force out the girls making the most money and jeopardize the club's bottom line to lower its value. At first it felt wrong, but it paid so well, and it was so easy to do, I was able to justify it. It was going so smoothly, it was hard to feel guilt anymore. I was even considered a safe bet by investors. They told me if I could buy out the sunshine, they'd invest in what would become the Kanzaki Group. I didn't even think twice that I would be betraying my own employers. It was an obsession at that point. I may have been the owner of the Kanzaki Group, but it's not like the investors were patiently waiting for their returns. It was a constant struggle to stay afloat. I gave in to one too-good-to-be-true scheme after another. Kanzaki-kun. Be careful with you, with the success, Yuki-san. You'll end up like me, embraced by the cold, false hands of financial independence. Fortunately, that's not possible for me. Huh? You're right. Those temptations are dangerous, and they're ever-present, too. It's easy to reach out to them. Even if I've been tempted by some awful schemes, I don't claim to be a saint. But you know why I never gave in? Because I'm too proud of the work I do. Of the club. Of the girls. Of the staff. Too proud? I owe a lot to this job. It showed me who I was. But more importantly, who I would become. I love my work. So no matter how easy the money or simple my life might become. I would never disgrace my club to do it. Yuki. So I'll be... I'll be the change I want to see. I'll prove work isn't just a shortcut to wealth or some final escape. If I don't, it wouldn't be fair to all the girls who put their dreams on the line to work for us, right? Yuki-san. Hostesses sell dreams to their customers to make their own come true. And if the club doesn't have their back, we don't deserve them at our tables. Right on. Atta girl. Selling dreams, huh? You think you can see through for that forever? My hands are permanently stained. I'll be back to challenge you. To tear down those lofty words and ideals. Kanzaki-kun, if you still want to try after you start over from scratch, I'll be here. Bring it. Yeah, so far your attacks on them have only made them stronger. <laughs> Mostly because they got all of the people that you treated like garbage. Yuki-san, that was the coolest thing you've ever said. I'm not cut out for being cool. It's exhausting. All the same. That was really well said, Yuki-san. <laughs> was it? Heh. <laughs> Pretty badass, Yuki-chan. Well, once more for the folks back home. Forshine is the new grand champ. Also, wait, did, did, did Kanzaki just say all that on the air? Who's, who's filming this? Who can see this? There's no camera crew. I don't understand how this works. What is this show? Why do they always meet at our location after the, the show's competition? Since they seem to be competing in a different location. Oh yeah, 80s inspirational ending music. I've just been told Kanzaki and Buono have been arrested for their crimes. That settles that, huh? Yeah, I guess saying all that on the air would do that. Yeah. Nothing ever settles in this business. Just like Yuki said, there's always someone looking for a quick way to win. 
Oh, really, Kiryu-san? I'm tired of having to fight for my club. <laughs> You'll keep fighting. You love it too much. Hey, come on! We're gonna get ready for our Grand Prix challengers, right? You always take this long with your makeup, Kirara-san? Mm hmm? Hmm? I think I'm about average. Makeup is as much a weapon as a smile, Aika-chan. <sighs> Since when is two hours average? That's long even for me. Hey, I had a pudding cup over here. Anyone seen it? I ate it, Kana-chan. Heart. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, what? You can't just eat other people's pudding cups, yuo chan Come on, guys, get it together. We're gonna open. What a shameful display. Uh, oh, Yuki-san. You'll discover how easy it is to stay calm if you prepare for the evening in advance, like me. A hostess is 80% prep, 20% improv. Keep that ratio in mind and you'll be legends in no time. Yuki-san, you're still wearing slippers. I am? Oh, crap. Yuki-san. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cabaret Club Grand Prix. Today begins for Club Forshine's stint as the new Grand Champion. The finest club with a lineup of knockouts. Is this the end of the story or merely the beginning? The Cabaret Club world would have us keep both eyes on this place for sure. Everybody ready? Let's go out there and be ourselves today. Yeah! The man with the plan. I'm going all out. Sure thing. Heart. I'm ready for this. Just another day in paradise. For our customers. For ourselves. Let's do what we love. Hey, this is our first time defending our title. Should we do the thing? Oh, good idea. You're in too, right, Kiryu-san? Heh. <laughs> Just this once. Okay, on my count. One. Two. <laughs> my god. Oh, they didn't do a photo finish. They should have freeze-framed it to fit with that cheesy-ass music. Kirara has joined. They totally should have had it freeze-frame at the end with, the, with all of them doing that. That would have been perfect, probably. Oh, Kirara's got dialogue. That might mean she has quests. Because the only one that did not have quests is Yuki, and she doesn't speak either. Oh, Kiryu-san. Hello. Heart. There's straight up more of- there's almost as many- uh, they almost cap out the whole roster. Just with the Platinums. You can go back in this room. I wandered in this earlier. Look how much manga there is. I think that's manga. It's under the VCR television combo, but I'm pretty sure that's all manga. Like, a lot of manga. How do you first person? There we go. Haven't done that for a while. Oh, yeah. I think? That definitely looks like a manga shelf. That's so much. They're in front of each other, like multiple stacks in a row. That's when you start having to excavate the manga, when you have to move the first row out of the way to reach back to the second row to find the other ones back there. God damn. This is the break- oh yeah, so this is the room they're all hanging out in whenever they're not out there, huh? When the- like the- until they get a- a- a, a table to get com uh, custom- uh, paired up with. I was like, why can't I think of the right goddamn words? That was fun. They had they yeah they come up with a whole storyline and an arc and a campaign. What a what a weird concept. Y the Yakuza is happy to do that too. Like they just they'll just put a whole sub campaign in their main campaign of they'll have other campaigns in their game that have story arcs and endings and everything. That's detailed to say the least. And uh, somehow they all involve Majima. Which, this one made sense, because of story connections to Yakuza 0. But also, it seems like uh, Majima's a fan favorite, and it seems like Yakuza 2 seems to be a game that people like a lot, but also doesn't feature Majima very much at all in the story. So they came up with a Majima side story that's completely his, like, stuff he was doing in the meantime! And then also these two sub-campaigns, where one of them's clearly involving Majima, and this one turns out by the end to be involving Majima. Just to give that guy more to do, I guess, and give him more screen time. Just like Kawa Yakuza Kiwami's Majima everywhere. 
It went from Majima everywhere uh, being in, like it being it used to be Majima everywhere, as in like in the streets. He was just attacking you and invading the game constantly. Now it's just Majima everywhere in the game's meta systems, and that every sub campaign features him somewhere, and he just shows up when you least expect it.